Thirsty alien trees are sucking up over 50 billion liters of water in Cape Town every year. That's equivalent to two months' water supply down the drain for the entire city. The Nature Conservancy says clearing these alien trees which surround supply dams could be a solution to saving water. For more on this, we're joined via Skype by Louise Stafford from the organization. Uh, Louise, uh, it essentially comes down to taking drastic measures in drastic times. And how far away, for, or how far away are we from actually exploring how to extract these alien trees as soon as possible? Uh, the, the, the reality is that not enough water reaches the dams. This means that demand can outstrip supply, and the reasons for that is uh, multiple. One of them is less and infrequent rains as a result of climate change, growing demand, and the losses, as you described, of invasive plants. So there's been research has been done for many years to to look at the impacts of invasive plants on water. So this, what we did through the Greater Cape Town Water Fund, uh, we looked at the existing studies and identified ways of how we can tackle this problem. So uh, in, to answer your question in terms of how far we are, we're quite far along because um, we, we are busy uh, developing fine scale, scale plans and we'll soon be able to uh, deploy more teams to assist with current efforts in the areas where we identify the, the most water is lost for the region. Uh, Ms. Stafford, why is this something new, though? And why wasn't it considered when Cape Town was in the midst of one of the worst droughts in its history? It's emerged, water is still very scarce, but it seems a bit counterintuitive. Why was this not considered during the height of the drought? It, it's not that it wasn't considered. Um, it is just the, the it was predicted that Cape Town will run out of water or that the demand will outstrip the supply by 2021. So the authorities looked at different options, such as desalination, water reuse, and groundwater exploration. When the drought hit us, at that the emergency uh, reaction was required, and. The science hasn't yet been specific up until that stage of how quickly water, water can be released into the dams. And this is, it's not new science, but the, it, it would have been, I, it, I think the city would have uh, been nervous to now go and try something that the science hasn't yet proved that um, the water could come on tap as quickly as within a year. So, um, they had to make emergency plans. Now that it rained, um, not that, it, that the region had its full supply of rain like previous winters, the, uh, only 70% uh, rain was received during the past winter. But now it gives the authorities, like the City of Cape Town and National uh, Department of Water and Sanitation, time to pause and think about the options. And this is exactly what's happening. Um, the region is now not out of the uh, out of the woods we can buy time to to make better decisions so how exactly would you go about doing it is it a case of uh, city officials uh, nature conservancy officials arriving on site with chainsaws i mean how how would you practically go about removing these alien trees that pictures have seen uh, have shown us to be up to 50 meters high yeah so what will happen is that we will deploy additional teams at this stage um, there is work happening but not at scale so what we will do is we will uh, deploy skilled um, a skilled workforce we the calculations have the studies have shown us that we need about 370 people if we want to get this problem under control within the first five years which we envisage so we will um, up the current capacity to reach the, the, the number of uh, uh, over 300 people and um, we will divide, we will literally uh, deploy people with uh, chainsaws um, and hand tools and have a systematic approach where we're going to clear it's 54,000 hectares so we will have we will systematically clear um, the areas until we reach the objective of um, having the first or the initial clearing done within five years. 
And what's been the response from local, provincial, and national government? Uh, Western Cape government, are they uh, uh, fully behind this idea? Have they perhaps provided funds in order for this to be executed? And, and the Department of Environmental Affairs, have they weighed in on your suggestions? We, yeah, it, it, we must remember that the, uh, the problem is not only the city of Cape Towns or the national department. It's a collective action that's now required. So most of the catchments are actually managed by the, by the national program. Uh, the city is uh, national uh, government. The city of Cape Town is, is, is managing only a smaller part of the catchments, although the city is the bigger user. So um, the, the national government bought into the, the uh, water fund and the studies. So did the city of Cape Town. We, in fact, busy looking through uh, at different options of um, co-funding and pooling of resources, because that's the only way that we will get this under control. If the current players pool resources, we have a focused approach, we bring the work up to scale, um, and then systematically credit and make sure that we maintain the uh, the gain over a 30-year period because it's not good enough just to clear it and then stop uh, walk away from it. We require ongoing maintenance of the cleared <clears throat> areas for 30 years. Nature Conservancy's Louise Stafford on the line there chatting about uh, Cape Town losing up to 50 billion litres of water.